Drugstore, full glam. Kind of bomb, right? Okay. Oh, well, the color looks better. All right, I've started this so many fucking times. So um, today I am going to be doing full glam, full face, full glam using drugstore makeup because I realized that like a lot of you guys are normal, real people who like go out and spend money on makeup and makeup's fucking expensive. Yeah, that's what we're doing, fuck. Uh, all right, we're doing an entire face. We gotta get started on the shits. Um, I'm gonna start off with my eyes, I think, just cause I wanna do like a smoke. You know what I mean? Like I wanna go like glam. So I guess I'm, I'm gonna start off by outlining my brows, which I typically do, you know, in every video. So uh, the product that I use for that is currently missing. Oh, <laughs> I found it. All right, so I like to, I, I do this all the time and I, these are the pencils that I always use. So a lot of these products I use in the regular, you'll see, or I've talked about before, but uh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm gonna start off by outlining my brows, which is what I do when I do my eyeshadow first, because I like to have a frame for the eyeshadow. Uh, I have two colors here. These are, these, this, this are, the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. So I have blonde as well as blonde. No, what? Light blonde and blonde. I think it doesn't really matter. I use both of them, so I'm gonna use light blonde, I think. Uh, these are fantastic, but they're super duper thin. No idea how much this shit goes for. Everything's always listed down below, but super duper thin. So I'm gonna start off by outlining the bottom of my brows. Oh, I'm also gonna be using affordable brushes, just so everybody knows. So I'm trying to get the at least the bottom of my brow as even as I possibly can, which is fucking impossible, but you know what I mean. And I use a really light hand. I basically just kind of like go in and fill the shape that I want. Anyway, so just that, like just that to get a base. And then uh, I like to, you know, really light, cause I didn't really go in with it very much. So I'm just gonna really lightly brush. And then I like to go in with a little bit of concealer, just, you know, clean that shit up. Uh, I'm gonna use the, so I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, I almost said foundation, concealer. This is in the shade uh, Eggshell. This is quite light, but it doesn't really matter because we're just using it to clean up the brow. Um, and then my brush is ColourPop E3. Just so you guys know, as far as drugstore brushes go, Sonia Kashuk, Elf, NYX, I don't really have that many. So I'm using all affordable brushes. It's gonna be like BH Cosmetics, Morphe, uh, ColourPop affordable brushes. Yeah, but like you can find I'll try to maybe I'll list like uh, Suggestions for or like replacements. I don't know. Does it really matter? Like I feel like most people have Ulta anyway Anyway, so uh, just gonna carve out the bottom of my brow um, I'm stealing the AirPod or headphone idea from Sam Ravindal cuz I've had I've had a couple of weeks, you guys, for me to even sit down and do this right now. I need a vibe, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's basically that. I need to put something on my lips because they're so dry right now. <sighs> I look crazy. I look like that basketball player with the unibrow. The uni, uni, unibrow. Uh, we'll come back to the brows a little bit later on. Now to prime my eyelids, I'm gonna use a little mixture. So I'm gonna be mixing the cream and white elf putty primers because cream is like a little bit dark for me. Probably looks like close to my skin tone, but I want vibrance, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna like pick up a little bit of this, pop that down and then go in with the white on top. That's pretty decent. I'm still formulating my opinion on this stuff. I have options here. I've got Cover, cover Girl, <laughs> True Naked, Chocoholic Peach Punch, just some neutral palettes, you know? I'm not entirely sure what I wanna do, but I got some bomb ass colors in here. So uh, I kinda wanna do smoke. I want a winged liner. I want glam, shimmer. So I'm gonna start off with the peach palette, peach punch. And I'm gonna go in with uh, this color right here. And I think I'm gonna mix it in with this like matte, light peachy cream shade, uh, just to kinda like manipulate that color. Cause it's a little bit dark for me to start off as um, with a transition. And this one's just like a little bit light. And the brush that I'm going to use for that is the Morphe M433 brush. I use this all the time. Fantastic brush. So basically I'm just tapping back and forth between the shades. I'm just going to tap in that like that and that. <laughs> like that and that. And then I'm going to place it up here. So I'm going to use this to define and just start building up any color. Dude, this eyelid is always such a bitch. Wait, is it this side that's a bitch? <laughs> I actually don't know. 
that's blending quite nice. The The trick with this primer is it, it retains a little bit more moisture. So it does hold on to the pigment and it blends nicely, but you have to allow it to set a little bit more before you start going in. That was my problem the last time I used it. I'm not gonna worry about blending all of this perfectly because I want to wait until I have my foundation, the rest of my face makeup on, and then I can kind of like soften that edge, I guess. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna grab this color right here. Oh, nope, this one, this one, that guy, from the Chocoholic palette and focus it slightly lower. Ooh. It smells good. Mm, I can't tell if they put a scent in this palette or not, but it smells nice. It smells powdery, but like a little bit chocolatey. Does it smell like anything? Oh shit, they for sure put scents in this. This smells like peach. Cute. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. Is this smaller? Nope, same brush. So I'm gonna grab this little guy by Morphe. This came in a set, so you, I don't think you can buy them individually. It has no number on it, but it's a great set. I used so many brushes from the set. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab, I guess I'm gonna grab, mm, is that a little too purpley? I'm gonna grab this one from the chocolate palette. Chocoholic, whatever the fuck it's called. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this guy right here. I'm gonna do this. These are blending so nicely, just so everybody knows. And I've been into this shape recently. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> Honestly, I have not done my makeup in a very long time. So this is questionable whether or not this will look like anything that anyone would ever want to recreate. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with a clean brush because I feel like I'm just reckless. Uh, so I'm gonna use another Morphe brush. This is the M521. So clean brush helps just kind of like blend stuff out. It picks up any extra product. It's a little bit like an eraser, you know? So I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. That's the same one. This is the ColourPop E19, cute. Kind of like a, pe why am I so yellow? Um, I have so much to do in post. So I had this, uh, what did I say? E19, E19, little tiny blend bl blending brush. Um, so this is perfect for the crease, like little, or if you have like not as much real estate as me, you wanna make sure that you're not using brushes that are like way too big, cause then you're just gonna be like, Pah. you know what I mean? So I'm gonna grab this chocolatey brown from the peach palette. We're just slowly building up the contrast basically. And I'm gonna deepen up. I want this outer corner to be nice and dark. And then I'm gonna sweep it. Ooh, this is soft. Love that. I'm gonna sweep it into the crease. So that's how you like build up that nice contrast and depth. Brushes get smaller as the colors get darker. Cool. So using that same brush, I'm gonna pick up the darkest brown in the Chuckaholic palette. Chuckaholic palette. It smells so good. It's like subtle, not too much. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little too delicate with this, like especially when um, I don't have any face makeup on, like I could really go in. I don't know. Cool. So I'm gonna grab this sort of like army, dark army green. It's kind of like a, almost a black shadow. It's like a really dark brown shadow with kind of like a army green or gold, dark gold, like a dirty money kind of um, pearl in it. So it kind of like, see that? So you see that you're seeing a lot of the reflect right now, but it's got like a really deep base, which is nice. So I'm gonna use that to um, kind of like deepen up this area before we go into the rest of the lid. So I'm gonna grab, once again, by ColourPop E21. Hold on, I got you. We got a loose hair at the top and that's gonna fuck up my blending. So pigmented. Love that. Cool, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Wait, am I? Is that what I'm gonna do? Maybe not, fuck it. Uh, JK, I'm gonna use the ColourPop E1 brush and I'm gonna pick up, I think for the rest of the, li mm, I'm trying to decide. No, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go in with a little bit more of that because I really love that like army green bomb. I'm gonna bring it on to more of the lid. Yeah, like right like that. And I'm kind of just like patting into the crease so that there's, there isn't that dis disconnect. 
Now I'm gonna use the same brush, but I'm gonna wipe it off. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna use the e the E1 by ColourPop. It's just like, I don't know, it's kind of fluffy, but it's like a little bit more flat. Doesn't matter. And I'm gonna grab this color. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a bronze from the peach palette. Why am I moving it so much? This one. I just realized I was gonna do a cut grease and then I just didn't. <laughs> Nice. I kind of wish I had a black because that dark color isn't as dark as I th thought it was going to be, but that's not bad. So I'm going to use that little guy, E21. Did I, what did I use this for? I don't remember, but uh, I'm going to pick up the darkest brown from the chocolate, chocolate, chocolate palette. You know, like it looks really dark. It's not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be, but anyway, I want to build it up a little bit more. I'm going to do a wing. So I'm going to just kind of like accentuate that shape right there. Yeah, it's too purpley, but I kind of wish I'd used that color, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so let's do a wing. So for that, I'm going to use, dude, I don't even know if I've used this before. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner in black. You know what's crazy? We haven't even really gotten that much fallout. Just saying. Okay, the only thing I'll say about this is the felt tip is very stiff. So it's kind of like a little hard to get like a nice line. It's kind of skipping. Especially if you don't have like taut skin. Not terrible. It's actually kind of a nice matte, you know? But I maintain it's a little bit uh, stiff. All right, so before I finish off blending like all of this stuff, I'm gonna do the rest of my face. So I'm going to prime my face. I mean, I used moisturizer, you know? So uh, I'm really just gonna use some sunscreen. I don't know if you can get the sunscreen in the drugstore. I get mine from Walmart. It's the Tizo or Tizo, I don't know how to say it. Uh, this is the AM Replenish Lightly Tinted Mineral Sunscreen Ceramides Antioxidants C and E. Doesn't matter. Uh, SPF 40. It's kind of like a pore filling primer texture. I almost said temperature. They have a, a non tinted one as well, just so everybody knows. If I remember, I can link that one down below as well. But I probably won't remember, let's be real. Okay, so um, the other thing that I don't have that isn't drugstore, but it is extremely affordable, is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Blah 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 Concealer. This is in the shade Light Ivory, which it, to me is peach, and this is what I use to color correct underneath my eyes, so that's what I'm gonna go in with first. Um, and then to blend that out, I'm gonna use the, oh, just kidding, this little Morphe brush. It came from a set. I gotta stop using sets. Is that what I wanna use? Actually, maybe I'll use, um, this ColourPop E17 brush. So you don't even need to use a color corrector if you don't have super dark circles, but I always use it to cancel out that gray cast that's underneath my eyes. So I pretty much just put it in the areas where I have darkness. As far as sponges, Real Techniques Makeup Sponge, I used that for years. I thought I had an extra one, but apparently I didn't. So that's upsetting. Uh, I don't even know what the sponge is. Someone told me it's Ofra, no idea, but uh, that's what I'm gonna be using to apply my foundation. And for foundation, Revlon. Revlon Color Stay, this is in the shade Buff, which I recommended for all of skin tones and actually when I revisited it, it's a good color, but it's not perfect. So I'm gonna mix it with my NYX color correcting liquid, which is available at Ulta.com. It's also available at NYX.com. Um, but anyway, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. This is the, they have a couple different formulas, one for combination oily skin and then one for dry skin. This is for combination oily, which is what I use in the summertime because I get more oily in the summer, doesn't matter. So I haven't used this in a minute. I'm gonna do two pumps just cause I wanna have enough. So just a teeny bit of green. So just that tiny little bit of uh, green that I added just made it ever so slightly more olive. But if you're like neutral to olive, that light, you know, that color would be fantastic for you. Concealer. So I'm gonna mix L'Oreal Infallible more than a concealer. Uh, so I used eggshell to clean up underneath my brow and then I'm gonna mix that with cashmere, just cause. This is like a little bit light. And then for that, <laughs> once again, uh, sponges, kind of uh, a problem, but I've got the LC Cosmetics Velvet Sponge. Not drugstore, use the real techniques, but this is the best one for deep set eyes if you have deep set eyes, just saying. under my eyes, 
this is difficult. It's so hard to find a powder that's good for under your eyes. So uh, I guess I'm gonna be using Maybelline Fit Me. I know a lot of you guys, you guys really like this powder for, especially for under your eyes. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be using it today, so we'll see. But uh, this is in the shade Fair 05. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, this, I think it's like a highlighting brush, but it's from the little black and gold Morphe collection. And then I'm just gonna use that to set like areas of my face that tend to get a little bit oily or break up. So like around my nose, smile lines, T-zone basically. For my waterline, cause I'm kind of like feeling this whole like dirty money feeling, even though it's a little bit more warm. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Jade Olive. Fucking, there's so many letters on here. Lasting Drama Matte Automatic Pencil, like eyeliner. Uh, 910 Jade Olive, doesn't matter. So yeah, it's basically just like a dirty green. I don't know. Uh, take it on my waterline and then drag it onto my uh, lower lash line as well. I want more of that. See that color? Love it. So I'm gonna go in with that color. I think I'm gonna set and like blend out the lower lash line with that. It's basically like this guy. I already explained it to you. I'm gonna use the Morphe E36. So it's just like basically a little, um, I don't know if this is like a pencil brush, but like it's like a, I don't know, who cares? All over the lower lash line. I mean, from end to, 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 inner, <laughs> both ends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good decision, love it. Okay, I'm gonna blend underneath that with this color from the chop. Chocolatey palette, <laughs> chocoholic. I'm gonna use, you guys have seen this a bunch of times, Morphe M507, just like a super tight little crease brush. Love it, very tapered. And I'm gonna focus on the tip of the brush. So I'm just gonna run this, I'm gonna like squint so I can see under there, you know? And then I'm just gonna run it along my under eye bag. You wanna be careful, cause this motion can kind of like make pigment go like this. So that's typically why I like to pat it down first. Uh, Cause you don't want it to all go in here, you know what I mean? And you obviously don't have to smoke it out that much, but like I, ha I always say this, I'm sick of saying it. I have so much real estate everywhere and I have these big under eye bags <laughs> and all these wrinkles that I like to hide, I guess, by doing that, whatever. So I wanna just fix this blend up here since we have foundation on now. So the first brush that I used was the Morphe M433 brush. So I'm gonna pick that up and I'm going to basically use my transition shade that I started off with just to blend that like line because it's very um, harsh. Also in here, in here, I gotta fix that. Uh, so I'm gonna grab that same color that I used to blend the lower lash line. And I'm gonna keep it a little bit tighter, but I'm just gonna um, blend this a little. You're basically just like building up layers to blend and also like create depth. I'm gonna use that tiny little brush, this guy, Morphe M507, and I'm gonna pick up the darkest brown. I have to be very careful because I have all my foundation on now, but I'm just going to kind of like go over that liner just a teeny bit right here just like a tiny bit. It's really not even necessary, but I just feel like sometimes the wing gets a little bit disconnected and this helps to combine the two, kind of like ground them. All right, let's finish off the face. So I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. I don't know if this is, mm, I guess this isn't really a drugstore palette. This is the BH Cosmetics Nude Rose palette. However, the NYX Cosmetics, they have cream and powder contour palettes. Those are great. This is extremely similar. Uh, but it does have a blush. I don't think the next ones have blush, but I, I used to have those palettes and I don't know where they went. So I'm using this one instead. So I'm gonna use this color right here, which is kind of like a nice uh, light olivey contour. And then for that, I'm gonna use this little uh, Wet n Wild brush. This is the P77. This came from like a mermaid collection or some shit. I don't even know, but it, uh, it's a nice contour brush. I haven't contoured 
with powder in forever. So I contour on my nose. I also contour on my lips. I'm still gonna do that. But what I'm gonna do is, because this seems like it could be like a little bit dark for those areas, I'm going to actually just kind of like mix this color with the under eye setting powder, this like banana colored powder. So I'm just gonna tap back and forth between those and just try not to make it like too light because otherwise it'll look chalky and weird. And to do that, I guess I'm gonna use this little guy from the, that little uh, Morphe black and gold collection. Okay, mixing those two colors was such a good idea. That's not terrible. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I get it to look a little more blended when uh, I use cream, but I have to bronze. So to bronze, again, this is the BH Cosmetics Golden Gal Bronzer. So I don't think this is necessarily drugstore, but it's super affordable from, you can get it at Ulta. Killer bronzer. It's really tough because I'm olive. So drugstore is not the easiest thing in the entire world. But anyway, so I'm gonna use the Morphe M405 brush. For blush, I'm gonna use L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush. Just curious. This is the 192, just curious. Doesn't smell like anything. Wait, is it scented? Mm, I think the scent died. I don't know how long I've had this. <laughs> anyway, it's just like a pretty peach. And to apply that, Morphe, black and gold collection. You could just use this guy, but you know, I use it for my bronzer, so whatever. All right, so I'm gonna highlight now. And for that, I'm using the uh, Wet n Wild Moon Tears Loose Highlighter. Brow Bone Morphe M205 brush. Okay, so here's the thing about this highlighter. It's not as intense as you think it's going to be. It actually shears out a lot. So when you first swatch it, you might be like, holy shit. But like, if you keep blending it, it kind of just like, you know, so it's actually much more natural. So just so you know, like if I had to compare it to Artist Couture, Artist Couture looks like beaming, you know what I mean? But you can build this up a little bit. And if you want it to be a little bit more intense, you can spritz it with a setting spray or something. Not bad, huh? Went wild, you know what I mean? Uh, and then to highlight my nose, this little guy, I've been using this. It's from that same, obviously. You can tell, it's the black and gold collection. Whatever, I'm gonna stop saying that, all right. It's actually a really nice highlight. Yeah, ooh, I'm into this highlighter. Ooh, so pretty, so finely milled. Loving this highlighter. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that liner and if you saw my Bella Hadid makeup, foxy eye, whatever, I'm gonna use this to do a little inner corner action. I gotta get all up in here though. Oh, oh my God. Maybe just like that, just like a little, little something. Uh, I'm gonna set my brows. So this is the Dr. Bronner's soap. I believe you can get this at, like I get it at Target. You can definitely get it at Ulta, and I'm pretty sure you can get it at drugstores. Like, I've seen it at Rite Aid, so. And then the spoolie I'm gonna use is BH Cosmetics number 15 spoolie. I have brow tutorials all over the place. Did I already say that? I already think I already said them. While I'm waiting for that, uh, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Unfortunately, the only curler that I have is by Japanesque or Lancome. I have one by Lancome. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not a big fan of the Revlon one, so. I don't know, maybe e.l.f. has one that's good. Anyway, I'm gonna curl my lashes and then apply a few coats of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. This is actually a really nice mascara, just so you guys know. Lashes. So my favorite drugstore lashes are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. Fucking killer. I usually have a stash of them. Don't. I realize this is like super annoying because I'm like, oh, a drugstore, and then I don't have a fucking drugstore. But anyway, some other affordable lashes that I'm gonna use are either the House of Lashes Iconics or Iconic Light. I think I'm gonna use the Iconics just because I haven't used them forever. Um, I also love the Ardell Naked Lashes. These are the 421s, look at those. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fucking baller. But 
they're like, they're long and wispy, but they're like slightly more natural. So I just feel like they're not enough for this look, which is why I'm gonna use the Iconic, uh, what is it called? Iconic, but um, all of their foam ink, Ardell's foam inks, love them. And then I'm gonna use the Duo Lash Glue. All right, and then while I'm waiting for my glue to get tacky, I'm gonna finish off my brows. So for that, I'm gonna be using this uh, pen, brow pen by Rimmel. This is the Brow po <laughs> Brow po Brow Pro Micro Pencil. And it's not micro, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, but um, there's no color on here. That's really irritating. I have two of them. Yeah, it's like a felt tipped thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's like actually a little bit thicker than a lot of the brow pens that I have, so. The color is nice though. Okay, in all honesty, that was really hard to build up. It took a minute. It took a minute, but um, it's not bad. All right, and while I'm waiting for my other lash to get tacky, I'm gonna do my lips. So to line them, I'm going to use one of my, this was actually my first favorite neutral lip liner. This is the Nude Beige Lip Pencil by NYX. Finishing off the lips, uh, I'm gonna go in with the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color by Rimmel, I think. Yes, Rimmel, and this is in Rosetto, wait, is that the color? Strapless, just kidding. Uh, but rather than just like going in, I'm actually going to put a little bit down and then just pat it out with my fingers. Actually, just kidding. First of all, it's fucking beautiful. All right. I'm gonna place a bunch of it down. Interesting. It smells like Christmas. And then I'm gonna pat it out. Okay, well, I don't feel like fixing my hair right now, so I guess that's this is <laughs> what we're gonna deal with. Um, so that's it. Drugstore, full glam. Kind of bomb, right? Pretty into it. Uh, they're actually, I kind of like rediscovered a lot of products in this video. For example, this, love it. It's very matte, but the color is really pretty. Uh, also, fuck, this highlight, bomb. The foundation, oh, I miss Revlon Color Stay. This is fantastic. I'm open to this. I still feel it's like it's a little bit drying. Uh, I miss this bronzer. I haven't used that in so long. The CoverGirl palettes, like eyeshadow palettes are beautiful. So if you're looking for drugstore eyeshadow palettes, fantastic. I also like the Maybelline City Mini palettes. Kind of similar, but smaller. I like the size of them. Um, this is a fantastic contour palette, but also the NYX one's great. I just, I don't know where the fuck mine went. And then the L'Oreal concealers, amazing. Love these, highly recommend them. Yeah, basically everything. What do you guys think? All right, that's it for this video. Fuck, I love that lip product. Mm, it's really nice. Uh, all right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Dark. All right, we're gonna, oh no, I look yellow again. Reset. Oh, that usually works.